Blood sugar comes from um, exogenous carbohydrate sources, primarily. So the foods we eat that has have carbohydrates in them. Um, we normally think of blood sugar responding to sugary foods like cakes and pastries and donuts and things like that, but it can actually it's actually a part of most of the foods we eat. So breads, pastas. Um, uh, potatoes, starchy foods, all are really rich sources of carbohydrates, um, but all plant foods have carbohydrate in them. When we eat carbohydrate and break it down into glucose, um, glucose in the blood it is a strong signal, and it signals to the pancreas that we have energy coming in. The pancreas then releases insulin, and insulin is what allows glucose to be um, taken up by all the different organs in our body, um, because we don't really want glucose just to stay in our bloodstream. It's kind of like a highway. The, we're just trying to get it to where it needs to go. So. Once blood glucose and insulin are elevated in your body, then your organs like your brain and your muscle and other and your liver, all of these things can take up more of this glucose and then it decreases in your blood. Sometimes um, you have excess sugar in your blood and that, that doesn't get used up by the organs and so it goes back to the liver and the liver stores it as glycogen. The liver all is really central in keeping our blood sugar levels within a tight range, so it also can release something called glucagon, and glucagon helps increase blood sugar levels by um, basically breaking down that glycogen and allowing more blood sugar to come into the bloodstream when you're not getting enough from foods. And so the liver is playing both roles where it helps um, both get the blood sugar out of the bloodstream to the organs and also increases blood sugar levels when necessary.